Hello and welcome back to Beck and Call. I'm glad to have you guys, you ladies and gents here. So let's get to our stories. Now I, uh, I got a call from the hospital and I was told, oh, we got your number and we have this patient who has no money but needs to be discharged and we were told you can take care of it. Now while I would love to embark on that journey or opportunity, everything has its time and place, right? There's a time, a right time for everything and uh, right now wouldn't be that. But it is on my bucket list to do. I also get another call from uh, another um, a woman who says that she wants uh, a ride from a it's not a local city but I said okay I'll, I'll try to do it for her you know service her and that was gonna be hours from now and uh, I then I checked my schedule I'm like I can't do it but I have to let her know as soon as possible right and I gave her an ample amount of time to find another ride and I I told her uh, you know, unfortunately, I'm sorry. Uh, I looked at the schedule again, and we have someone in that slot. And she said, so we were texting, um, and she said, she mentioned these colorful words, which I don't want to discuss or um, get into detail, but you know what I'm talking about, right? Uh, and then she texted after that, that you owe me a refund for that. And I told her, ma'am, I didn't charge you, and I didn't service you. And then she went back to the call for words again. And then the next day she called me up late in the twilight zone hours too because I guess uh, it festered up in her or she was still relatively upset a day ago, a day after. Now I'm not sure how that works, but apparently she was going through that and uh, my heart goes out to her. I sympathize with her. Um, so those kind of stories we get and then we get the greener pastures type of stories the ones that inspire and uplift you so let's get to it right so I got this lady an older woman petite she's 95 and uh, I picked her up because her car was being serviced so she drives she looks like a 65 year old if you ask me and um, she has that genuine smile and she's so uh, the type of person who will find the good in any situation that's how I read her I told her uh, well actually her daughter-in-law told me that her husband had passed away five years ago from and that she was the caretaker of him as he was going through dementia now that must be a difficult feat or difficult uh, situation for her to be in am I right um, so God bless her and give her and reward her for doing that taking care of her husband like that in this time of need right and I think he would do the same for her so, um, Mira, and she also said that she was married for 60 plus years. Now, that's a lifetime right there, right? So, um, I told her, how, how did you get through, you know, life uh, with the loss of your husband? And I know it's a sensitive question, but I knew that she could handle that. She's a strong, willed woman. And she said, I don't worry, I don't cry, because it does me no good. And she, by the way, she lives alone. And she, uh, when we um, arrived at her estate, she has these beautiful pink trees, well manicured with the grass, well kept up. I mean, I was amazed. And she didn't need a walker or a cane. Pretty inspiring and she, sharp mind. I would love to spend some more time with her if I can. So we'll pray that we can touch bases with her and sit down with a cup of tea or something. I mean, she's a... Uh, a pleasure and a joy to be around um, and then we had this other gentleman that his wife was uh, rushed to the hospital and he had told me I asked him how they met and uh, he was still optimistic you know he's going to the hospital I don't, can't imagine what he's going through in his mind right it's going in his mind and he said me and I, my wife and I met while we went to OU I was studying to be an engineer and she was studying to be a librarian and um, she's he said that she was selling tickets at the theater I guess it was a side job uh, university students do 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 take on those opportunities so uh, 
he said she had a ticket in her hand and she said this one is just for you and so that must have made you feel super special and he says yes it, it did so they had this type of uh, beautiful friendship relationship that um, I think uh, we sometimes take for granted if we have that right so uh, nurture those relationships if you have them okay um, and be there for one another I think is the key there through thick and thin through the good and the bad yeah right so he was going to the hospital um, and he was telling me how um, she or yeah how they met and they've been married for over 50 years now that's incredible stuff right there but he was too in good spirits happy you know as happy as can be He's, his wife's in the hospital and their daughter had called me from Texas to give him a ride and we'll be praying that uh, the Lord will restore her and give discernment for her doctors to figure out what's going on and uh, to get so so that they can treat her and give her a quality life in the long run. So those are the types of stories that I love to share with all of you guys. So thank you for watching, subscribing. I hope you found substance in that and we'll see you in my next video.